wanted to give you a side-by-side -side comparison with, uh, with the two canopies. This is uh, an earlier version. He's been using it now for the last uh, probably two years, a year and a half certainly. Uh, just freshly back from uh, riding on the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And it's got uh, what I would call uh, like a luggage rack on the top side. There's a bar underneath here where I can teether a, uh, teether a camera from underneath. So it doesn't get uh, lost. And several Velcro uh, provisions for charts and, uh, and just notes and things. Fitted it with a windshield not too long ago. I've got some uh, some more plastic that I just picked up recently. The windshield is going to continue down, and I may be able to even get rid of the fiberglass rods. The uh, the tip of the fiberglass shield, actually not a fiberglass, I'm sorry, the Lexan. Um, the, the tip here will be bent uh, more abruptly and there will be a pin in here that will fasten uh, to this front section. And while I'm down here, this is a, a, a rubber end cap sleeve with, a, with an eyelet. I have uh, probably several hundred of these that I knew would be a good uh, offering. Uh, although I don't have any of the rest of the components uh, ready to go out if you're interested in having some of these, well, just let me know. Anyway, I also use it for a, a sleeve underneath the uh, Denoti light here. This is just a, a little flag holder that I fabricated. Anyway, this piece uh, if you've got a straight stem here, that it just slides right over. Uh, this is, I believe, an inch and an eighth uh, diameter. It slides right over uh, very nicely. This I would recommend clamping of some sort. And over on the uh, the other trike here, because it had a tab up here, which is uh, meant for mounting bar accessory bars. I cut a slit in this same same piece is on the other trike and just slid it over here it needs a clamp but this this trike does not uh, have any of the lights or anything on it so so I thought I'd try it just to see how this one works and it worked worked okay now back to the older trike here the top I had tried several ways of fastening this frontal section to where I could really stretch the top and mm, this was kind of an interim uh, just an interim uh, assembly here. Whereas on the new one, this is really nice. We've got a really, really taut top to this. This top doesn't weigh, it, it, it doesn't weigh a thing. Uh, but it's got, as you can see, a rubber uh, strap system here that very forgiving. The whole thing is very forgiving. The, uh, these provisions here are still on the newer top. And also changed was a means of tightening this rod on, the, on these other rods, this tube on these other rods. I have a uh, set screw in here with a, a Delvin plastic plug it clamps against the uh, fiberglass rod so that we're not pinching and damaging the, the glass fibers in here. And that works really well. That was one of the problems I had with this uh, model here, even though there's a set screw underneath. It kept uh, stripping out because it really needed to be tight. And looking at the back, not much, not much different. And I have already fabricated another piece here so that when this trike gets shipped which is going to be shipped here in the next few days uh, this this was just a test block to see how I could attach to a standard rack that, that, that came on this uh, green speed trike 
and it worked okay. It's it's, it's okay. It unfastens. It's just one fastener here. This whole block comes off. I don't know if you saw that. This spins off. And this whole block comes off. I'll take it off here in a little bit. But these uh, are like light bars, front and back, accessory bars. I should call them. You can put computers and everything else on them. So that's the newer version of the canopy, and this is the first time it's it's been fitted on a trike. It hadn't even been on this trike yet, but it will be shortly. It was it, it was made to replace this top. So so we're in a transition period where uh, it just seems like it stays there. This is really only the third trike I've fitted a top to. And I wanted to make sure that we could work with a smaller rear wheel, a lower rack, a luggage rack in the back. And it's turned out to be a good work piece. So my friend who owns the trike allowed me to keep it just a few extra days here. And I've been playing with it as he will see from this video. It is, uh, it's been up on a rack in my shop, and it really, really looks mean from the front. <laughs> I, when I'd come out in the shop, I'd, the trike was like talking to me, like, get me out of here and get me on the road. Anyway, an older green speed fitter with the uh, canopy. And an older action bent, a 2000. One, or excuse me, 2011 action bent. There's some trikes. I like to see them going down the road side to side. Cool. We got a pretty good storm coming in here, but I wanted to go ahead and show you how this top is removed. How quickly it can be removed. I'm going to flip it up. We've got a lot of wind here right now. It's probably gusting about 25, and it's going to get worse. So I'm just going to pop that front loose and uh, hold the bread. I don't know what's going to happen here. The wind, I've seen, if you, if you don't have your trike anchored, I've seen this thing take take the trike across the parking lot. So anyway, just flip, it, uh, flip the front loose. There's one. Nut back here, a washer, and top. The, uh, the bracket on the back has one through bolt that can easily be removed. There was absolutely zero change made to the trike or the luggage bracket or to the front, as a matter of fact. And when I shipped the trike, all that's coming off. Uh, I wanted to fit the top to the rider's height from the seat to the top of the helmet. And I don't think it'd be fair to ship this out uh, in, at this stage of development uh, without uh, properly fitting all that. So. There you go. Put it back on. I don't have this broken apart yet. It, it'd be pretty easy to put some couplers in here so that this could be folded flat. I've got racks overhead in, in my SUV and it just, it just slides up there. I can put several pops up there. Has a uh, nylock feature in here so it doesn't vibrate loose. I believe this would probably be good as it sits, probably good. That's about 35 miles an hour of wind speed, not necessarily ground speed, but wind speed. I know in any episode of speed with the top over here. I'm doing a time 
constant run around the track and the wind was about 15 maybe even 20 miles an hour and the top would collapse and I looked at my speedometer and I was doing less than 15 miles an hour but the wind speed was probably up close to 30 to 35 so uh, I've got several ideas for this to keep this from wanting to collapse but you have to really be moving to have that happen. Anyway, there's your there's some canopies for you. I did make a little change that allowed me to actually lower the front by about an inch and raise the back three quarter of an inch. It was just a little tweaking. I just put a slot in this and then slipped it over uh, to, to get it past this tab. Uh, this is where your accessory bar would mount. I don't think there's going to be in a way. If it is, you can just rip it off, or you might be able to lean it forward and, and pull it off. I didn't use anything on it, uh, no liquids or anything to get it on there. But... I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, set of blocks off here. As you can see, it's just, it's just really sandwiched to the back of the rack here. The main thing that's holding it now is just this T-nut. I'll take it off and show you some of the machining on the on the pieces themselves. They've not been rounded or doctored up or, or painted. I would paint them black, but I wanted to keep this as a kind of a prototype for the next green speed that comes wandering through the shop here. We're gonna flop it up. There she goes. If I come around here, I'm gonna try to hold the camera and do this. Do this with one hand, if I can. Again, that has a uh, a nylon insert to keep it from vibrating loose. A washer. And if I can get this off with one hand, I'll be a, a hero of some kind. It's really hard because it's so tight. And we're going to try it. A little wiggling. And there it is. It's off. I've got it relieved here on the back to clear that uh, what looked like a little license plate bracket back there. And we'll take that loose next. This is probably one of the only fasteners on, uh, on this whole assembly that's not metric. Just a quarter 20 carriage bolt. Again, this is a nylock nut so it doesn't vibrate loose. That's why it's not spinning off easily until it gets past that nylon. And a washer. And this just sandwiches in here. I'm trying to do this one-handedly. It's a little awkward. It just slips out. You can see all the the work that went into this it fits right through that standard hole. And the idea here is to just to grab as much of this rack as you possibly can because this is where there's a lot of tension on this uh, in this area. And this, like I said, is not a finished piece. It's uh, it's a it's a piece in process really, so it's not. Not really that pretty. You have to pay particular attention where your grain lines run so they don't so your wood doesn't split. But there's absolutely nothing that was done to the trike rack. That's as standard as it ever has been. That was a quarter inch hole up here. Now we have the trike back exactly as it was when when I picked it up.